This is my father, Bill Cooper. I'm glad to finally meet you. Thank you. Jill's told me a great deal about you, and, well, it's nothing like meeting face to face. No, no, sir. Please, have a seat. Thank you. This is our traditional family dinner. If you don't mind me saying, everything looks delicious. It is. Right? Thank you, Lord, for this food. We ask you to bless our guest, Jack, and this special meal and our time together. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Our oh, man, let's Amen. eat. Our oh, man, let's yeah. eat. Please pass me those bourbon mashed potatoes. Oh. Well, that's quite an impressive career you've had. Oh, yes. Uh, war correspondent for the Associated Press? Yes. Um, uh, it's a joy to be a reporter. Um, I've been very fortunate. Oh, your parents must be very proud. Oh, yes. I wouldn't know. Oh, I'm glad. I think these are the best bourbon mashed potatoes you've ever made. Mm -hmm. well, what do you mean you wouldn't know? We haven't talked in 10 years. Are they in some kind of a coma? Or? We had a falling out. Of what kind of falling out? Over religion. Yours or theirs? Both, in fact. Well, what are they? They're Baptists. Well, all right. <laughs> and you are? I'm an atheist. I'm gonna need another helping of those bourbon mashed potatoes. I'm not quite sure I heard you correctly. Did you say you don't talk to your parents because you're a Methodist? The boy said atheist, Gladys. I knew it was something peculiar. And uh, you never told my daughter what you were? No, sir, I never told her. No, I can't believe... I'll handle this. So, that's why you and your folks don't speak? Yes, sir. Well, at least it shows you come from good parents. Oh. So, you don't believe in God? I deny the existence of God, yes. Damn! Wow. Okay, wait, 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 wait. So what about Jesus? You don't believe in Jesus either? At least, as the son of God, that oh. is. I never thought I'd say anything like this as long as I live, but I can't eat my own cooking. So you became an atheist when, uh, after seeing some traumatic event covering the war? Uh, maybe somebody dropped you on your head when you were a baby or something like that. I said I'll handle this. Actually, sir, it was a decision based on science, reason, and logic. I see. With all due respect, sir, we just have different philosophies, that's all. I don't have a philosophy. I have a faith. Praise his name. You better preach the name. Mm -hmm. Yep. Hey, listen, let, let, let me ask you a question. Okay, let's just say you driving late at night in the back country roads of Georgia, and you look in your rearview mirror and you see a state trooper, he's driving up on you all close and slow. Now you got an open can of Budweiser in the car, mm. your tail lights busted, your seatbelt ain't on, and you're rolling with a white girl. Oh. So now you trying to tell me you don't start saying, Please, God, God, please, God, don't let this man stop me. Please don't let this state trooper pull me over. Yeah, that's what he said. That's what I say. These potatoes are so good. Just so I can understand this. So if I were a drug dealer or a bank robber, and I go to church and I confess my sins, you would welcome me with open arms? Hmm. But because I'm an atheist, I can't be forgiven? Because a drug dealer and a bank robber can be saved. Oh, praise his name. Thank you. Hallelujah. And I can't? I thought your God forgives everybody. Oh, he does. And when he gets around to you, you come back and see me. Mm -hmm. So you would do better if he was gay. <sighs> How could you not tell me? I wanted to. You lied. I didn't lie. I, I, I just didn't tell you. Well, what's the difference? Or can't you tell being an atheist and all? Jill, you have every reason to be upset. Oh, I'm past upset. I'm past furious. I'm bordering on enraged wrath, baby, headed toward physical retribution. We went to church together. You sang, you danced. I thought you had the Holy Ghost. I love the music. But not the words? Jill, I'm sorry. I didn't tell you because I didn't want to lose you, okay? Because I love you. 
And losing you would be the worst thing that ever happened to me. If your heart worked as good as your lips, you'd be one hell of a man. Jill. I believe one thing, you believe another. What's the difference? All the difference in the world. So it doesn't mean anything that I love you. How could you love anybody if you don't love God? I thought you left for the night. I did. I got halfway home and I realized there was something that needed to be said. You know, the most important thing in my life is seeing my children happy. I know, Dad. And no one knows more than me what it's like to lose someone you love. Hmm. Which is why, forgetting everything I said earlier, I need to know, Are you so in love with that young man that life would be unbearable without him? It's okay, Dad. It's settled. I told Jack I'm, I never want to see him again. And you're okay with that decision? I am. 